cool night and take care of that baby instead of wandering in and out at your leisure to that ugly bitch over there. It has always been you and me, and it always will be. You might not make it, all right? Bodies is bad for business. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love BMF, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today, we're gonna be talking about BMF Season 3, Episode 7. This is the recap. Now I'm gonna try my best to focus on all the key points in this episode. If I miss anything, you guys let me know down below. And man, I told you guys last night, Jay Pusher, he has to be the worst negotiator that I've ever seen. I mean, come on. You could have got your brother back a little bit easier than that, but he decided to really run his mouth and put his brother at risk, his life, right? In his baseball career. Like, really, dude? You could have been a little bit more calmer and, you know, have better negotiating skills. But Meech luckily was there and helped save this man's life. Now, in this episode, we saw a lot of different things with Lucille and Charles and the doctor. The doctor's up on the leaderboard, y'all. He's been going crazy these last two episodes. Raw Dog Charles, you got three more episodes left. What you gonna do? And I know a lot of you guys was talking about y'all think Jay Pusher is supposed to be Jay Bo. And I think you guys are right. I talked about this in the episode when we had the Jack the Rapper weekend. So it makes a lot of sense, especially since it's in St. Louis. And, you know, it fits the storyline. But we're going to see what's going to happen next when Meech does return to St. Louis. But based off this first time... Man, it was crazy. And we saw your girl, Sweetie. Y'all let me know what do y'all think about Kia and her character. We know Michi hooked up with her and he clapped those cheeks. He had a good old time. But now he's going to be going back to Atlanta. And y'all know Glock, he is running the show. So Meech has to neutralize him somehow, some way. And we also know that Terry still has issues with Henrietta. We saw some different things in this episode with Detective Veronica Jen. And we know she wants payback. For what happened to Detective Amberson. But we also know it's a high risk. Being involved in that could get her dropped off. So we're going to see how this storyline ends. As I told you guys. I believe somebody ain't going to make it. Somebody got to go. But let's begin the recap. What did we see in episode 7 titled. Get them home. Now of course we start the episodes out. With them giving us you know, the history lesson. Whether it's going to be from Meech or Terry. We get the quotes. And we know Meech, he loves St. Louis. He felt like they always showed him love. We get the throwback of Detective Brian and young Meech and Terry. And he's teaching them the trick shot. And, you know, of course, the theme of it is to get them home and how difficult that task really is. And that's a lesson that these guys did not forget. So we get to St. Louis and we get to Meech, Jay Pusha, Sweetie. And they're talking about business. We know Jay Pusha's brother, Carter. He's very good at baseball. We know he's going to be going to school for this. And he could be going to the league from the looks of it. Now, Carter goes and gets some water for everybody. And then all of a sudden, he is hemmed up by these guys. They put him in a van and they drive off. And Jay Pusher, he's pissed. He's like, man, really? He wants payback. The sad thing is, he don't even know who's done this. He's talking about a guy named Ray and all this stuff. Meech just telling him he needs to calm down. If they wanted to kill his brother, they would have just pulled up and did it, not take him away. So he had to basically just think smart about this. Now, he ends up having a conversation with one of the guys that took his brother. And apparently, he sold him some weight that was trash. And basically, he's losing a lot of money because of Jay Pusher. And he tells him, look, you need to pay me. If you pay me, I'll give you your brother back. But guess what? Jay Pusher, he said, you know what? I don't give a damn if you got my brother or not. I don't care if you chop him up, if you take him out. I'm not giving you a dime. And I'm thinking, like, really? Like, you talking this crazy? And they ain't even did nothing to him. I mean, they did him him up. They ain't touched him yet. And you could have just paid a man or whatever or figure something out as far as money. But no, you want to be big and bad. And now your brother, he is the one that's going to have to suffer these consequences. And you can tell he was pissed off. He was hoping and praying that Jay Pusher would save him and not do anything stupid. Now, we get to your boy Raw Dog Charles. And he sees the flowers. He sees the little note from the doctor and he reads it now Charles is upset he's like man I built this house brick by brick and you mean to tell me this man sending letters and flowers and you about to go kick it with him oh hell nah it ain't happening it's always gonna be me and you to the end 
This is what he's telling Lucille, right? And he feels like the grass ain't greener on the other side. Lucille tells him, well, the grass is only greener where you water it. And basically, it's been like a desert up over here. So Lucille, she ain't playing around. And she tells Charles that she's going to be with who she wants to be with when it's all said and done. She's going to make that decision, not him. So Lucille ain't going. And all Charles can do is just look there, flabbergasted, and pissed off. I'm going to tell you right now, man, they're going to kill this, man. I know all the comedians out there, they're going to kill this scene right here with those skits. It's going to be funny, man, because Charles and Lucille, they be going back and forth, and it makes the story very interesting. So I cannot wait to see what Charles is going to do next. Do y'all think Charles is about to go to the doctor and put those hands on him? We're going to find out soon enough. Now, Terry is very upset. We know he did not like what Henrietta did to his boy in the last episode, put that flamethrower on him. And Terry is like, man, I thought we had a peace, you know, offering, whatever. I thought we was good. But apparently, Henrietta is doing what she wants to do. And Terry is like, man, you can just sideline her, right? But we know Blaze is like, nah, that's not that easy. She's still my daughter. And that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Blaze knows this is a problem. And the crazy thing is, he told her to make peace. And she went out and did what she wanted to do, which is going to create issues for everybody. It is bad for business. And Terry is like, man... Since you're not going to do anything, maybe you're part of the problem. So he's pretty much putting out a warning shot, letting him know if he does not do anything about this, this is going to cause some major issues, right? And Blaze, he has a lot of power as well. So I'm eager to see what he's going to do if Terry does do anything to his daughter. Now, we get back to Jay Pusha, Meech, and of course Kia, and we end up meeting, you know, Jay Pusha's moms. She's pissed off because those guys, they send a package. And the package has Carter's finger up in it, man. It's all bloody. It ain't looking too good. It's looking like Carter might not make it. Now, they're telling him, look, we need that money. Like, what's up? And Jay Pusha decides to go off. Talking about, I got prices on y'all heads. Y'all dead man walking and all this stuff. I'm looking like, dude, like, are you crazy? You really don't care, do you? I mean, Meech is trying to calm him down, telling him he will get the weight. Don't worry about it. We can figure this out. But Jay Push is like, nah, he's sending his goons out there to get these guys up out of here. And we know that Carter, he was looking real sad. He was looking like, man, I may lose my life. My brother, he really don't care about me for real. Like, what's going on? Now, we know Meech does call Terry about getting that weight to St. Louis in order to save Carter. And Terry has some issues with that. He's like, man. You Captain Saver, bro. Like, what's going on? He ain't really liking what, you know, Meech is down there doing. And he feels like Meech could be doing better for the family. And he does not like that Meech is sticking his nose in other people's business. This is what Terry is telling him. But we know Meech, he ain't about to go. He ain't about to just sit up here and allow certain things to happen, especially to people that he's doing business with because he feels like it ain't right. And he just wants Terry to understand his game plan. Now, Terry, he goes and he sees his daughter, Lawanda, is there, her moms, and of course, Lucille is there, and they pissed off at Terry. Lawanda's like, look, you kicking it with Markeisha, and you should be here taking care of your, you know, your kids, right? And they going back and forth. We know Terry's like, look, I'm a good father. I'm a good provider. I even bought you know, a new van and all that stuff like that. But Lawanda, she ain't trying to hear any of that, especially since Terry is not staying there and being with his kids like she wants him to be. Now, Lucille tells Terry that he needs to stop messing around with Markeisha. She's not family and you ain't tied to her. And she says, you pretty much just like your father. You know what I'm saying? You're cut from the same cloth. Y'all don't even see what's right in front of you until it's gone. And Terry tells her, look, I know you not talking because Nicole told me you kicking it with Dr. Maurice. Like, what about that? You know what I'm saying? Now, I know they're going to kill these skits on this scene right here. Lucille told Terry to stay out of her business. I'm up here cracking up, y'all. Like, really? And then Terry tells her, look, we ain't that different. So Lucille, she's like, man, I'm talking about what Terry is doing and how he's like his father. But I'm up here doing certain things with the doctor. And y'all know she did not like the way that Terry told her about herself. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that scene. Now, we get to Carter and the guys that hemmed him up. They're kind of panicking, going back and forth on what they should do because they don't have the money that they got to pay their guy. On top of that, we know Jay Pusha, he ain't trying to pay him anything. Now, his guys end up finding where they were at. Unfortunately, it was a major shootout and they were not able to get Carter. And we know those guys that Jay Pusha sent, they got dropped off quick. 
And I know Carter was pissed. He was like, man, I was almost up out of here. They was talking about just taking him out. So I know he was all in his head. Now, we get to Nicole and we get to Breeze. They're at school. They go through the metal detectors and all of a sudden it goes off and we see a knife. And we know this is Charles's knife. Nicole said, you know what? She is not about to have another Darius moment. She going to make sure she got a weapon on her at all times just in case something pops off. Now, Breeze, he's the real one because he said, you know what? It's mine. You know what I'm saying? He was trying to take the weight from Nicole, but we know it has Charles's name on there. So that was not going to work. Now, we get to Terry's guy. He's supposed to be delivering the drugs, but unfortunately, he crashes the car. I still think it's something up with that. You guys can let me know. But of course, it's going to make it difficult for Meech to get that weight down to St. Louis. Now, we see Markeisha. She understands that Terry has bought a new van for Lawanda. She's basically trying to get him to say it, but he's not going to tell her, yeah, I bought her a van and all that. He plays it off like everything is good, but she understands what he's all about. Now, this is what I was talking about last night, that Markeisha, she's very aware about what Terry's about, but Terry does not know what she is doing, which is a bad deal for him. He needs to be watching this girl. He's going to find out the hard way, in my opinion. Now, Terry does get the call about the Calix guy crashing that truck, and now he understands that Meech is probably going to be upset so we have to figure out another way to get that weight down there. Now, we get to Charles and Lucille. They go to the station and they see Nicole. They're very upset about her having that knife. We know it's Charles's knife. Nicole is telling them, like, look, this is what I've been talking about. I'm trying to protect myself. I'm not about to allow another Darius moment to happen. Someone dying right there in front of you and you can't do nothing, right? Nicole, she's being real. And she told them she was trying to talk about all this stuff at the dinner but they wasn't really trying to listen like that now nicole she's been having a great character development for season three i cannot wait to see what's next for her character now we get to detective veronica jen she goes and has a conversation with bryant telling him that she dug up some dirt on henrietta whatever and she found out that blaze is her pops and this is why she's so protected and it's very hard to get her going to try to get her by the book ain't going to work so she's going to do whatever it takes to try to get her, right? And she says she's going to arrest her in her old partner, Detective Emerson's cuff. So we're going to see what time it is and if Detective Veronica Jen can actually execute the game plan. But I'm going to tell you right now, it might not end so well for her. Now, Terry meets up with some of Henrietta's clientele. And as he told her earlier on in the season, he will take her clientele when it's all said and done. They're all going to come to him. Of course, he's giving them a better price. I believe he said $7,000 cheaper than what she's offering. So you already know what time it is. And I'm pretty sure she's going to be upset once she realizes that she has no more clientele and it's going to be difficult for her to make some money. Now, Meech, Jay, Pusha, Kia, and his boy, they all go to the spot where they had his brother at and they see that his guys, they got dropped off and Carter, he's not there. So y'all know Jay Pusha, she's, you know, he's very upset. Meech is telling you know, Kia and the other guy that was there, look, he has a game plan in order to help save Carter, but they cannot tell Jay anything because if you tell him something, he ain't going to go with it. He believes his game plan is the best game plan. But as you're seeing right here, his game plan is just not working. Then we get to Markeisha. She goes to Luana's spot to have a conversation with her about Terry and about them basically just getting along because it will be best for Terry to not lie and to feel more comfortable, right? Markeisha, she tried it, but we know it did not work. Lawanda ain't trying to hear any of this, y'all. And we know Lawanda's mom, she had me cracking up. Lawanda threw that coat out there. She's like, no, we can keep that. But Lawanda said, hell nah, she can take it. She ain't special. I'm the real queen up in here and I got his blood. So what you think that's going to do for you? I'm going to tell you right now, Markeisha, she ain't going nowhere. She's going to continue to be here as she told LaWanda and it's going to continue to be problems down the line. Now, we get to your boy Sterling Black. He brings up the product. This guy is loyal. I'm glad nothing happened to him. But when Meech and him are having a conversation, all of a sudden law enforcement, they come and they storm the area. They're not playing around. So Meech has to come up with a game plan to get law enforcement off his back. He threw on that Cardinals cap. We know he had the baseball um, bat in the back and, of course, the gloves and stuff. So he made it seem like he had to go to a, you know, the Cardinals practice and stuff. I mean, he did what he had to do, and it actually worked. Now, Markeisha, she gets pulled over by Vince. 
And Vince, all he wants to do is give Markeisha, you know, his number because y'all know what he want to do. He's trying to clap those cheeks. And Markeisha, she is liking all this attention. And we know she's going to use this as an advantage later on in the episode to get Terry's attention. Now, we get to Breeze. He goes and he checks up on Nicole to make sure she's good. Letting her know that he really likes her. And, you know, he was looking out for her, right? So the two end up making out. We know Breeze told her he's going to do whatever it takes to protect her and make sure that she is good. And after they make out, all of a sudden we see your girl, Lucille, and she's kicking it with Dr. Maurice, having a good old time talking about, I feel like a schoolgirl all over again. And as I told you guys last night, the doctor was like, but we are adults. So what are we doing? Lucille said, if you put your hand back there, I'll show you. So, man, it's getting real hot up in this car, y'all. It's getting real hot. And Lucille ain't playing around. She said, you know what? I'm getting my groove back this season. And, you know, the doctor, he is trying to really take it serious. And Lucille ain't really trying to think about that. She is trying to live in this moment. She is trying to have fun. I mean, the doctor, he was about to mess it up. Lucille told him, you look so good. You smell so good. And she told him you taste so damn good. I'm like, okay. So it's getting real freaky up in here, y'all. Lucille, man, I'm going to tell you right now. If Charles is watching this, he be swinging at the air. He be going off. He be pissed off right now. I can see it. And this is another scene. I'm going to tell you right now, those comedians, they going to kill this skit. I got to see this skit right here in this car, y'all. But y'all let me know. What do you think about Lucille? She ain't trying to take nothing serious right now. She just trying to have a good old time. Now, we get to Terry, we get the vent, and we know Markeisha, she set all of this up. She was smiling the whole time. She wants to see two dudes fight for her. She wants to feel like Terry's feeling having Markeisha and Lawanda basically fight for him, right? Now, Markeisha, she breaks it up, and she tells him it ain't that serious. He's just an old acquaintance and all that, and talking about, I like it. When you get jealous, it turns me on and makes me all wet. And she tells Terry to touch it. I mean, Markeisha, she's a freak up in here, y'all. And she's going to do whatever it takes to make sure that Terry comes to her every single night. So as of right now, she has the one up. What's your girl Lawanda going to do? Because y'all know Lawanda, she ain't about to be chasing no damn Terry, especially after all the stuff that he's been doing. Now, we get to Lenny Edwards. You guys remember him. He got arrested by Veronica Jen and Detective Emerson a few episodes back. And he's looking for a deal. He's like, look, I got you in here. So are you going to get me a deal? She told him she's going to talk to the DA and see what she can work out. I'm going to tell you right now, this guy's days are numbered because y'all know once Henrietta finds out about what he's doing, he's up out of here. Now, Henry, she does like Veronica Jen, right? But this is very risky. We know if she finds out about Veronica Jen, it's over, right? And if that's the case, I'm going to tell you right now, Detective Bryant, he will be very, very upset. We know she does go back to tell Detective Bryant that she got in or whatever and she got close to Henrietta. He does tell her the next time she does this, make sure she calls him because they can do it together because he understands exactly what we understand, that it is risky and Henrietta will get her up out of here. You guys let me know. Y'all leave y'all theories on Veronica Jen, this whole game plan with Henrietta. Do y'all think it will go as planned or do y'all think Veronica Jen is going to get dropped off? Now, we get to meet Sterling Black and Kia and they end up getting a drop on the guy that hemmed up um, Jay Push's brother. And Misha's telling him, look, I could take you out, but I could actually help you get out of the loo alive. So they end up, you know, basically tearing him up, y'all. We saw what Stella Black did to him with his hand, and we saw your girl Kia. She had that baseball bat. She was wearing that boy out. But I guess it's better than dying. Too many bodies is bad for business. And even though they was able to get Jay Pusher's brother back, we know that Jay Pusher was kind of upset because he wanted that guy up out of here. But Meech is like, man, we can't be taking people out all the time. It's bad for business. And he tells Jay Pusher that he needs to take the bounty off those guys' head, take the money that he has, and get his brother up out of there far away from all this drama right and we know jay pushes says you know what i got you i'm going to make sure you good or whatever he's going to help meach get a spot out there and he tells meach that he is family no matter what now we know kia and meach end up hooking up he clapped those cheeks and she's happy that meach will be back and forth so those two will continue to have a connection i just want to know if she's going to stay loyal unlike your girl angel now terry and hoop they're talking about henrietta 
and how they basically flipped the last of her clientele and now it is time to cut off Medusa's head, right? So it seems like everything is going good with this game plan that Terry has, but I told you guys it's still gonna be issues with Blaze because he's not gonna let his daughter go out like that, but I still think based off the way that Henrietta is moving, it will be a family clash and that will probably help Terry out in the long run. Now we know Michi goes back to Elena at the end of the episode. He's at the Platinum Palace and no fights broke out. You know what I'm saying? Usually when Meech is there, he's always fighting somebody. We know Duffy had a conversation with Meech um, earlier on telling him that that heat is died down or whatever. He's good with law enforcement as of right now. And once he got to the club, everybody was happy. And they tell him about the Red Dogs. They tell him about how Glock is the king. He is the one that's basically in charge. But Meech is like, okay, that's cool. But that's not going to last. We know Meech is going to take over when it's all said and done. I told you guys, we got to see Meech's approach this time around. Because the last time... He tried to be all peaceful. He tried to make sure that everybody has, you know, money and not have any issues with war. But this time around, he is going to have to have a different approach. He feels very confident after what he's done in St. Louis with the home run and, you know, setting up shop there. Now he has to come back and deliver his game plan in Atlanta. But y'all know it ain't going to be easy. You got Glock. You got his boys. You got Remy. It's a lot going on. So what's going to happen next? I cannot wait to see it. I will be dropping the What to Respect for episode 8. It definitely seems like another action-packed episode. And a lot of different things are going to pop off very, very soon. Now, I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.